Guys, so we made it into the airport. I'm on my way to Detroit, then St. Louis, and then LaGuardia. Um, they changed my flight like a hundred times and I had to fly the next day. So I will check in with you guys once I get to New York. It's gonna be a long day, but I'm excited to see my family and surprise my grandmother and yeah, vacation should be fun. I'll check in with you guys later, bye. to an event I decided to vlog tonight and this weekend so this weekend is gonna be very busy this week has been very busy very stressful but it's been a good week so um, I'm actually on my way to an event it's called the young collectors contemporary art fair something like that let me look it up um, where are we I know I just had it so it's called the young Col collectors contemporary art fair it's a four day event here in Memphis. I don't know if they do it across the country, but so they're doing it here and I think this is maybe the second year, maybe, I don't know. I, I should prepare my details for you guys, but I never do. Anyways, so it's a four day event. Yesterday was the bus tour, I couldn't go because I was in class. Today is the party and I'm excited. I haven't been to like a party or like club-ish atmosphere in a while. It's not a club, but it's like an event to meet other artists and young people. It's 21 plus and I'm excited to see some art and collab with people and just see who I meet and just have a good time because I need a de-stressor. So, I'm excited. So this weekend's going to be very artistic and I'm going to take you guys along this journey with me. So, let's go. There's like mad traffic. People are always crashing in Memphis, but hopefully it's quick. It says like that red line is like, yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm excited. I haven't gone out. I don't know. I think I've went out, but like not to a party. And Errol's not with me. He is tired. He's like relaxing. Um, yeah. Do any of y'all listen to Bad Bunny? That's like Bay for real, for real. Anyways, I will see you guys soon. I'm going to pick up my friend Cecilia if I can get there. This traffic is cray. Look who I'm with, Cecilia. Say hi, internet world.
Good morning. It was a fun night last night. My Valentine's balloons are like still alive. It was a fun night last night. We got home, I got home like almost one something. So we went to the party. It was, it was okay. There was a lot of food um, or hors d'oeuvres and appetizers and there was free drinks. Um, I tried one, I don't drink. This is like not focusing on me. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. So the party was really cool. Um, not a lot of people showed up, um, as you can probably tell from the video. But there was a couple of stylish people there. The artwork is really amazing. I actually saw a photo of a guy I knew from like when I was growing up in like high school, and it was so random. Like, um, this art show was like from artists from all across the country. I was like, it's such a small world. So I found this photo of this guy like I knew from like a long time ago. Um, but yeah, but the artwork was beautiful. Um, there was all different kinds of artworks. And so this young contemporary collector's art show and art weekend is to basically inspire young people to start collecting art. And also has a plan for them to collect art for a cheaper way. Because, you know, art can be very expensive, but it's also helping out other artists and people of color and just all kinds of backgrounds. So, it's a four-day weekend, and um, today I might go to one of the other, like, shows. Um, they're having a conversation with these guys that I saw. It's Rog and B. Walker. And they're basically having just a conversation about what they do and just culture and creativeness and... That's from 2 to 2.15. I have to go to the art installation at 12. And also, it's like 10.03. So, I kind of am missing the march. And I feel bad because I really wanted to go. Um, but as you can tell, I'm like in my robe. Spun up. And it was, a, it was a morning. I mean, it was a night. Like. We went to Rail Garden in Memphis. It's like Midtown area. And it's basically like a hangout spot where they have like the dancing part inside. They have a bar outdoors. They have like a whole, um, like just a big screen TV. Um, they have ping pong tables, hammocks. So we sit on the hammocks like talking all night with my friend Cecilia. It was a fun night. So anyway, so I got home late and that's why I didn't go to March because I just didn't wake up on time. Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for this art show and I'm gonna eat breakfast. I will check in with you guys. Alright guys, I'm back. I am ready, I think. My hair is always crazy, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm on my way to my boss's wife's art installation. So I'm on my way to the art installation. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it before and it's also on my website. But I'll be showing you guys again in this video. Um, it's an awesome installation with an awesome message about breaking barriers and how just like the wall that somebody, a hot Cheeto headed person is wanting to build um, to make a border from Mexico to the country of the US and proposing that and how it's just breaking apart families and how all these barriers just like between prejudices, racism, homophobia, mass incarceration, there's just so many barriers that we don't really think about this installation is just aiming to showcase all those barriers and how they can be broken and how we all really are the same. We all, at the end of the day, bleed the same color. We may not look the same, but at the end of the day, we are human and it's all about equal and just coming together. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go before I'm late. I'm always late. Um, it is currently 11.47, so yeah. I don't know. Let's see what we get into today. All right, let's go.
Alright guys, so I am definitely lost. Um, I'm here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, there's like some stores here and then like a... I don't even know what that is, but they're playing music. <laughs> I found this really cool sign that says like, Black Minds Matter. Um, look at that. So cool. And then, this building. It's like a abandoned old building. Anyways, I'm about to call my boss's wife because I'm lost and I think she gave me the wrong address. <laughs> Today I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me on a mini vlog adventure. I'm going to an event. If you guys saw my year C video, if you didn't, make sure you guys clip up here um, to, or over here, I don't know where it's going to be, um, but you can see that video. And in that video I mentioned that I was going to be going to an event and it's called Ignite Memphis, but this specific Ignite Memphis is going to be about food. There's going to be um, 
I believe she's vegetarian, another person that's vegan. People are gonna talk about like getting rid of diseases through food and just food culture and just a lot of food talk. It's kind of like a TED talk type of style where they have like five minutes to talk and just present a slideshow. And there's also gonna be food and wine and beer and I'm excited. This is like my one thing to do alone. So I can kind of like socialize and meet people and yada yada yada. So um, yeah, I'm like rushing. Um, I still have time, but I want to get there early because I can never find parking in this area of town. So, um, I'm wearing the same thing I wore to work because I was looking on, like, Instagram and it doesn't seem like people really dress up for this thing, like, too much. So I think what I'm wearing is, okay, I'm just wearing this, like, black jean, oh, black shirt, jeans, and my black Chelsea boots. Um, yeah, I have my black faux leather belt, this like suede, vintage faux suede jacket, so it's really cute actually. Um, this is what I'm wearing. So this is me. I just feel like the jacket stands out as it is and then, I don't know, it's just nice. It has like this little detail on the side. It has like the side pocket and then that pocket. And it's just very simple, and then, yeah, this is like my uniform, like my Chelsea boots, and yeah. I mean, I think my hair is like speaks for itself. <laughs> so, um, I am, yeah, just finishing up. I just brushed my teeth, and um, I still haven't put photos in that thing. I just like put some moisturizer on my face, say hi to Faithy, and um, yeah, anyways. Let's go. Alright guys, so I just made it. I'm a little early. It's like 6 something. I wasn't thought I was gonna get here like around 6 30 something, but there wasn't as much traffic. Um I'm in the parking lot, but I don't know if this is the parking lot for that place or the place across. Um I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna walk over there to see if this is it. Um I won't talk as much in the vlog because I don't know, I just feel really weird vlogging and talking but I will record for you guys and then we'll catch up later on <laughs> Um, 
I'm on my way to go pick up my rental car and then head to meet be surprised my family in Old Town. They don't even know I'm here. So, yeah. Let's get to it. I'm excited. It's been early and it's been a while. And I'm ready and looking forward to the beach tomorrow and to spend time with my family. Um, so, I'll catch up with you guys soon. This is my car, guys. It's a Toyota Yaris. Hey guys, so I just got my car. I'm about to go meet up with my family in Old Town. Hopefully they don't leave. Um, I don't know how far it is from here, but I put my GPS on. The car is cool. Um, it's a little Toyota. I have a Toyota RAV4, so this is like much tinier than mine. But um, yeah, um, I'm about to go. And I'll catch up with you guys very soon. I, I know I keep on saying that, but um, yeah. This car is really fancy. Though. Guys, we've been upgraded to a white one because the gray one was not working. Let's see if it works. Sorry, my camera's like awkward. All right, guys. So this one is working. I am gonna go. It is fucking hot. I'm dying. Um, yeah. So let me turn the lights on. I feel like out of it. Uh, make sure there's nobody around me. Y'all are gonna have to wait. Um, there's a really cool like camera feature. Yes. Okay. We are up and running. Thank goodness. Let me. Yeah. These toes are gonna make me broke. Look who's with me! Hey! My mommy! <laughs> She's tired! <laughs> <laughs> We're off to the beach. We made it to the beach. Aquí con mi vieja linda. Nos vamos para el próximo party. El día sigue. El party sigue. I'm here with my mom and my aunt. Saludos. And we are at the market on South. Oh, wait, do I? Market on South. We're about to get some vegan food. My aunt has never tried vegan food. My mom has. So we'll check in with you guys. Oh yeah, we can get it. Get it. Get it. Very baggy. I don't want to sprinkle. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Echa los toditos por si acaso. <laughs> Pero no, espérate que lo costaron. Oh, oh, oh. You don't say shit. I know, right? Oh, you was good. In liberating strife. For themselves. That you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That you will bear arms. And so that can give you an idea of the trauma that can exist in areas of poverty, extreme poverty uh, like that. And so by the time of a mandatory meeting uh, that I had with my high school counselor, uh, I was very broken. 
as a young woman. I had lost a lot of confidence and I sat down with her and she looked over my high school transcript and she pulled her glasses down and looked over at me and said, Miss Butterfield, what do you want to do with your life? And I'll never forget in that meeting, for the first time ever, uh, mustering up the courage to share with her the truth. And the truth was, well ma'am, I would like to attend a four-year college and work in the entertainment industry one day. And she snarked and then said, oh, so you think you can sing or dance, huh? And I said, actually, the contrary. Um, and I, I say this respectfully, but no, actually, I want to understand the business model of the entertainment industry and leverage it to fuel social and economic impact for our community. 